another Christmas come and gone, and we are coming to the close of the end of the year. This year has been very productive and very eventful. I can definitely say this is definitely by far so far of the 28 years that I've lived that that definitely sits to be my favorite so far. Or 28 and a half at this point, I guess. There's been a lot of stuff that's gone on with that throughout the entirety of the year, though. Whether up, down, spirals, or whatever, ins, outs. One thing I know for certain about this year is it was eventful enough to be able to acknowledge all the good that came from it. And there is a lot of good that came out of this year for, from what I've seen, it felt at least. And I've talked about it throughout the different vlogs throughout the year. Um, what's going through my head, what was on my mind when it was necessary. Um, so I'm not going to go through every little bit of it again. The highlight of this year for me was definitely the fact that the, the date I was officially married to Amber, though. Um, she's such a great woman she's one of very few people who actually accept the kind of person that I am you know, she, do, she does fear on balance at times which I can understand um, but at the same time she still accepts the fact of the kind of person I am and I do the same for her. Now, a lot of people have a hard time with that, and yeah, I get it, so I'm not going to go too much into that. But I am very grateful for, uh, for that aspect of the year, and that's definitely my number one event of this year. Now, there are other events that happened throughout the year that led to good outcomes, regardless of when it happened, but that one definitely takes the cake. I don't know if I can really go through each month to say, like, what my favorite event from each one was, because a lot of the year was kind of dry for me. But the year also felt like it was lasting forever, a lot of the time. It's because of how much there wasn't going on for the most part of it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about this for much longer. Um, all I've got to say is that I'm I am looking forward to seeing what the next year has to hold. Do I know what's going to happen? No. Do I know how things are going to progress? No. Do I have a short idea of some of the things that will happen that I am looking forward to seeing come to into fruition? Yeah. But that's something that will have to be discussed at those points in time when they do happen. 2022 was pro it was probably one of the more eventful years for me in quite some time. In a good way. And I'm looking forward to seeing if 2023 brings something better. More equivalently is good, which will be hard to do on either of those. Anyways, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning into this video, guys. I hope you guys all had a very good year up to this point. I'll definitely bid a happy new year when the time comes, but until then keep doing these like vlogs like normal i'll bet you guys i do and i hope to see all of you in another video see you guys later